everybody's favorite food festival is back and its new fall dates aren't the only thing that's changing. Rather than a three-day indoor festival, this year's Eat Vancouver is all about interactive culinary experiences and chef collaborations for four days straight all over the city. And today we're getting a special preview of the highly anticipated dinner series with the culinary mastermind behind the McKenzie Room. So what was the idea or the concept behind the atmosphere, the space here, and the menu? We decided we wanted to open a space where you can come in, enjoy yourself, be yourself. The lights are bright, the music's loud. Um, we're definitely not a quiet um, space. Uh, the food's inventive, just like the cocktails. Um, and I guess the overall theme is just sourcing locally. Do you have maybe two or three standouts, something you just love and you want me to try? One is a tomato, strawberry, and cucumber dish, which is a lot of fun and a little bit different, which again, will take, it looks very, very simple, but the flavors kind of bounce all around the palate. The pig ear and endive dish, which is a lot of fun, uh, a lot of different textures and uh, flavor profiles, so that one will definitely be one that you'll have to try today. And then I guess the last one would be the quail dish. It's an ode to southern cooking. Instead of doing chicken and waffles, it's uh, pan-seared quail with serrano uh, chili cornbread and our take on red-eye gravy. So it's a fun, whimsical dish as well that has roots in traditional cooking. What can we expect from the food and from the night on October 4th? It's going to be a lot of fun. We are definitely super honored to be a part of this uh, festivity and I think it's going to be entertaining and uh, a lot of fun again. The room, you can expect it to be loud and bright and full of energy. I'm looking forward to interacting with people, getting um, more people familiar with what we do and just taking part in a great event. So, and having a well-deserved drink. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so, again, you know, our dish for that event is going to be a little bit different and probably a little unexpected, which will be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, so I'm just looking forward to being a part of another event that week. If this food is any indication, the collaborative menu on October 4th is going to be amazing. Uh, and in addition to this event, the dinner series, there's of course Eat Harvest, which is headlined by the one and only Michael Smith. There's a Beta 5 chocolate demo. And last but not least, there's a Food Trends tasting class, which sounds pretty incredible. Tons of exciting stuff this year for Eat Vancouver. All that information is available online with tickets, of course. For City Lights on Novus TV, I'm Melissa Dawson.